Hey, this is Ram's inexpensive PC to TV converter. Converts VGA to composite or S video. It's a down converter, so you lose a little, little resolution, but get pretty good results. It has a VGA input, VGA output to go to your monitor, S video, composite video to go to your TV. Powered by USB. Using this power, uh, you can get an optional uh, power adapter for it. Also, has an NTSC to PAL uh, dip switch for selection. Alright, we're going to hook it up here using composite video. It's the yellow color coded uh, cable that most people have on just about any uh, TV. Then you'll need to connect the VGA to the output of your computer. inputs here on the uh, front of the device. And you'll need to unplug your monitor, which you'll later plug into the converter. You'll notice uh, VGA is a polarized connector, so it's very hard to plug it in wrong. Now you just plug in the uh, your monitors if you need it VGA connector to to the uh, converter, and then you can have. TV displaying your output as well as the monitor. And you'll need to connect the power. And that just goes to a USB uh, port on your computer. And second, let's connect with the audio. And with the component video, please pay attention to the right color. And 
with the uh, HDMI cable. Another port with the HDTV. And, fi and finally with the power. Let's set PC output. Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Rohin, one out of 12. Today, um, I just got a really quick uh, question. Um, as you can see here, what I have is a VGA 2 RCA and S video. Here with a quick update for you. Uh, I've gotten a lot of comments on my VGA to VGA to HDMI video. As you can see here VGA to HDMI uh, this does not work so if you're planning on buying one of these well do not because it doesn't work uh, simply because uh, they're not uh, compatible with each other uh, but if you wanted to you could have a DVI to HDMI port with this worked perfectly and uh, yeah it's better than wasting your money on this so yeah Go ahead and you can purchase this off eBay for about two dollars if you wanted to. And this need for the installation are the following a wire stripper side cutters soldering iron and solder and of course our cable from monoprice.com pid 2747 and rca plugs pid 6212 i'm going to show you how to solder on your rcns to your cable step one determine the length of cable you need step two cut the cable once you've determined the length you're going to go ahead and you're going to strip the outer jacket off now you don't want to strip too much off because you're going to need the outer jacket to stay inside the RCA end once it's soldered on. Now you see that there's an outer shielding on this particular cable. We don't need it since this cable also has a drain wire on the inside. And this may take a little while so be patient. Now you see that I've gotten the shield completely stripped back and I have my three conductors, the drain, the positive, and the negative. Now in this case you're going to need to go ahead and strip back the negative wire completely down to the bottom so you can twist it together with your shielded wire. And go ahead and strip back the positive side. Now you have your cable properly stripped. Now your next step, get your RCA end and untwist the top part. It comes in two pieces. Now don't forget, before you do anything, you need to slide your cable through the connector. Now to make your soldering life a little bit easier, 
you want to go ahead and put some solder on the connector piece beforehand. This will make it a lot easier for you. Now that you got some solder on the connector, you want to go ahead and get some on the cable itself. I've got solder on both my conductors. Go ahead, and you'll see the little clamps at the bottom of this piece. Those need to be clamped down to the jacket to assure a nice firm hold. Once you've got the jacket in, go ahead, clamp it down, and go ahead and start soldering. Now once you have your center pin soldered, go ahead and slide the base back up. Go ahead and twist it back in. Andrew, here we go with our test. Okay. This is generic HDMI cable. So by right, you plug that into the test rig and uh, we'll get a picture on the screen. Connected. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like magic, isn't it? Technology's amazing. Just take Ignore the poor picture there, folks. That's some file footage in a documentary shot in the 70s. Yeah. Okay, so I see what you're doing there. You clamp it right up. I think we just need to go firm. We're not crushing the cable, we're just clamping. No, it's important that we don't crush it in some way. So Perhaps hold it together better than it otherwise would. So over here we've got a DVD player. Quality brand, TV, mm, mediocre brand. Um, start twisting, I suppose. We're just going to go in a... Yeah, I actually think we just go up, down, left, right. Up, down, left, sort right. Sort of in a... Okay, well, it's interesting that you've got that drop out there. Oh, that cable's rooted. All right, we're back now. That previous glitch was, in fact, the, um, the joiner yeah. in the cable, which yeah. we're going to come back to at the end of this clip. Yeah, just hold that up again, Keith. Try to avoid using those in any kind of system, they're useless. Okay. Now we've already flogged the crap out of this cable. This is the, the 1499 cable. Um, you can see that now the picture is stable now that we've got rid of the connector. Um, now I'll let you into a secret, Keith. I tried to destroy one of these cables yesterday. Uh, I did eventually. It's like a workout. Brett and I were giving it a flogging. We could not kill the thing. So just, just speed it up. It just won't okay. break. So we're not speeding up the camera, we're just speeding Keith up. Now, I cannot believe that that is working through that. Now, just to demonstrate that that is the cable, can you just unplug from the Blu-ray player for a second? And picture's gone, plug it back in. It's actually a DVD player, sorry. Don't okay, picture's back, keep going. Now, just this is the 1499 special, as in 15 bucks. Now just rip it apart. I think the picture got better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can. Well, Brett eventually did kill it, but it took five minutes of, and, and he ended up just tearing it apart. So I think you can safely say there is nothing wrong with the construction of that cable. Oh, I dare you to wreck it. <laughs> Just to your left, there's a uh, ball peen hammer. <laughs> I don't want to break the rig. I, 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 look, what's wrong with you, Keith? A simple request. I want you to stop this highly expensive HDMI cable from working. Yes! Oh. Okay, well, it fell out of the rig. We're now tightening it up. You can see the picture's back. We don't care how tight we do it. No, do it as tight as you want. Okay, reef away. I just want it dead at this point. Oh. Oop. 
and success. Okay, all right, now let's go to the monster. Rightio, we've got the second cable to go in the rig. Yeah, well, we've seen how the first one went. Um, amazing, really. Let's have a look at the monster. Let's get it out of the packet. So, uh, one point uh, the monster uh, managing to make packaging that can be opened without an axe, chainsaw, uh, secateurs. Yeah. We might be able to return this back on the shelf. What do you mean, might? <laughs> Here we go. So you're going to insert that into the rig. Let's give it a... Let's see if we get a picture. There we go. Thankfully, yes. They're really just tight enough just to hold the thing in position initially. I start, um, start to whale, whale away on that thing. Seems like a bit of a waste of a $149 cable. Well, nothing wrong with that. It's doing a good job. It's av as advertised so far. So, um, you haven't done a workout today, Keith? Or... <laughs> oh. What the hell? Ah, that's not right. You must have loosened it. No, that can't be right. You've hardly touched the thing. Nah, it's not possible. Check the connections again. No, you just loosen it off and um, re... Oh, there uh, we go. It's okay. back. Yeah, that's good. Let me worry there for a second, because that's ridiculous. The... Uh, $14.99 one lasted for minutes and minutes of thrashing. Make it down again. It's gone. What? I've wrecked it. So uh, let me get this straight. The one that claims that it's got the best structural integrity and costs ten times as much as the other one lasts for a tenth as much time, that's not possible. I think we got 30 seconds out of it. It was a very generous 30 seconds, I don't think it was even that. Just loosen off the clamp again and let's just... It's not looking good, is it? <coughs> we killed it. Oh, well, there you go, folks. We're as uh, shocked as you are. After the fourteen ninety nine are lasting so long, we fully expected this one to go well, at least as long. Huh. Oh, here it comes. It's going to lock in. Are you holding it in the right spot? Just prove the test rig, if you would, uh, Keith. Plug the... Um... Blue straight in? Yeah. And on that note, we'll uh, sign off and uh, have a think about that. <laughs> that was interesting. So, um, let's have a look at the damage. Right, yeah, so, Mr. Monster, I, I can't see the damage. Actually, I've forgotten which ends was in the rig and I which one was there was a little bit of a... Maybe this A bit of light discolouring where the plastic had been bent. What about the other one? Our expensive one. <laughs> well... It's a tongue-in-cheek expensive one, the $15 one. So it's obviously torn apart a bit. That's it. Yeah. This ends the DVD in. It's perfect. We'll stick them back in. Okay. One at a time. Have you decided which end is which yet with that monster? No, I think, yeah, this is the end. Still playing. Mm, still playing, but obviously no, no uh, picture. All right, plug the other one back in. Mm hmm. Hmm. Interesting. But still damaged. How do you make it stop? Oh, okay, yeah. So, what are you doing there? You're pushing it right down. Get it going, you know you. So, the bottom line is $15 one still works, $150 one, cactus. I'm work. still astounded at... Um, so our rig's still in good shape? The rig isn't going to break. Now, what I'd like you to do, Keith, is just show me something. 
that I think might be the difference between, in a, in a positive way, that something the Monster has that the uh, cheaper cable doesn't have. These and little lugs? A couple of little lugs that obviously help it not slip out of the connector when you're not using a clamping mechanism like yeah, we are. Yeah. So that, that's a good thing. And the other thing is, pull that lead out of the, the cheaper lead out of the mech, out of the clamping mech, and can you twist that end off just... Oh, yeah. So, if we look at this end... Hang on, I'll just, um, I might, uh, zoom out, uh, in a little bit, I should say. Uh, 